How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. This is Demo and Zoner, and we're we're joined with uh, a lot of bugs. A lot of bugs. <laughs> we are beautiful but, Pyramid Lake. Yeah, Pyramid Lake. We are at what they call Popcorn Rock on the west side of the pyramid, and this is basically uh, tufa. Yeah, and that was a bug I just ate. Ah, <laughs> gotta love that. But these uh, these tufa rocks are calcium carbonate, and they were formed when this lake was underwater. A lot, or the water level was a lot higher, and these were uh, springs coming up, and they're about twenty six to thirteen thousand years old. So. Oh yeah. So as the water receded, uh, these little tufa formations started forming. And believe it or not, if this lake ever dries up any further, you'll have more tufa formations that are hidden. Oh yeah. They haven't been found or, or seen yet. Oh yeah, they're all over the place. And as you can see on the hill behind us here, you can see the water levels, the ancient water levels right there. I mean, that's... Yeah, you really can't see it that good on this side. Of on it. this side, you can see it better on the other, but... Yeah. I mean, you can see those water levels are at least two to three hundred feet higher than where, <laughs> where we are right now. Well, like a... A good, good example, I say, because Marble Bluff is right over there. The Truckee River comes in right over there. And basically, you're, you're not allowed on that side of the lake. That's uh, tribal members only. And the Paiute Drive. And that white dot you see out there, that's Pyramid. That's why uh, John, that's what... John Fremont named Pyramid Lake after. Because when he came across in, what, 1840. 344 1844 I think like that. he named it Pyramid Lake because it looked like a pyramid to him at the time and it still does yeah it looks like a pyramid and just just to the right of the pyramid in that white tufa area that's they call it stone mother that's a, a sacred area for the Paiutes uh, people used to be able to go over there and, and see it but you can't do it now because a lot of people vandalize trash it it's a sacred area for them yeah and to the left of the pyramid there you see that big island that's anaho island that's uh it's like a, na a natural resting or a nesting spot for uh the pelicans yes but this is what that's remnants of ancient lake lahat and this and walker lake are the only two remnants left yeah. and it covered what eight thousand over eight thousand square miles good size it was giant this is one of the last remnants of it and if you go to the other side the other side of these hills that's Winnemucca Lake that was there used to be two rivers that went that fed from Tahoe into the Truckee then there was two forks they dammed off the the truck that the east fork of the Truckee to keep the water into the uh, pyramid right but yeah, we're going to walk around this, this lake is filled with legends and lore and mysteries and history and everything else. We're going to cover it all. Yes, sir. So shall we go do a little exploring? Yep. Let's find some water, babies, brother. Let's go. All right, and here we've got some of the trout, stuffed trout that came out of Pyramid Lake. A little bar and grill here. Lunkers. What's the name of this store again? It used to be Crosby's. I don't, I don't know what, what they changed it to now.
folks, how you doing? Well, we're here at beautiful Pyramid Lake. We're at Tamarack Beach, actually. Behind me is the pyramid. And what was the name of that island? Anaho. Anaho Island's off limits because it's a bird sanctuary. But we're going to tell you about a little bit of the legends about this lake. Now, there's something here that a lot of people are interested in known as the water babies. Water baby? Water babies. Now, the water babies, and this is what you're told about the water babies, where if you're out here camping or, or fishing or something like that, and you hear a baby crying down near the water, do not go to investigate. Because that's how the water babies lure you in, and they pull you into the lake and drown you. Now, the origin story of the water babies, there's lots of different stories. Lots of different stories, lots of urban legends. Some of them say that the Indians, uh, the pirate Indians, would take the children who were born lame and throw them in. If they couldn't survive, they, they just let them drown. Kind of like what the Spartans did to Carthaginians. It was an ancient custom. Uh, they, they couldn't afford to feed mouths that weren't productive. Uh, that's how one of them came along. And then there's another, there's an ancient uh, Paiute legend that there was a, a, a mother, was it a mother god and a father demon? And a, I can't yeah. remember the whole story. Yeah, so the mother, mother and father, they, they separ separated the kids. Uh, the bad kids were sent up to Pitt River, and and the good kids stayed here with the Paiute mother. And that's the stone mother. Stone should, mother over there. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's Sutcliffe right out here, the town of Sutcliffe. And then uh, out in the distance, you can see a couple white dots in the hill in the mount or in the mountains out there. That's the needles. I also believe that's off limits nowadays too. So, and of course, uh, Smoke Creek, Smoke Creek deserts out that way. Black Rock deserts out that way. Right uh, behind us, you can see the water levels pretty good on this hill. Yeah. Look at how deep this lake was yeah. thousands of years ago. And that's the that's the Pawra Range. Of course, you go that way, I'll take you to Reno. They really know it. And this here is the famous needles. A lot of seismic activities. These were formed deep underwater thousands of years ago. As you can see, the water levels on these hills thousands of years ago, the needles were deep underwater. Tufa formations were created when hot, calcium-rich, carbonate-rich water came up out of the bottom and formed these, like heat vents. Incredible. But off here in the in the hills, almost straight out that way, that should be about Hell's Kitchen. And then Howitzer Slide should be that dark area right there with the, the, if I'm not mistaken, I think they used to do artillery practice out here back a long time ago. World War II and after. I'm, don't quote me on it, but I, I'd have to do a little bit more research to, to confirm and verify. Well, they had so many old Army Air Corps bases everywhere out here. And that also brings us to the next story. It's like, remember back in the 80s, either behind there or over there, the Navy used to use, uh, they used to, they built pillboxes for uh, strafing runs for practice. Because the Stead Air Force Base used to be right that way, that way. Yep. Her Long Lord Army Depot was that way. Yep, right out there. And uh, over the Navy the used to fly low level missions across the lake and either drop, drop dummy rounds or practice uh, attacking bunkers and pillboxes. Yeah. So you can still find them out here scattered in the desert somewhere. Also out here by the Needles, January 1987, there was an A3, A3 Sky Raider, which is a, a Navy jet. It uh, was doing a, a nighttime low-level flight, and it ended up it crashed out in the lake, killing all three. Yeah, so no the plane, survivors. The plane was supposedly never recovered, so it still sits out in the... Well, it's probably in about 900 feet of water. Yeah. All right, we were just out driving around and found a spring out here in the middle of the desert. Oh, sprung. Sprung! Sprung in the spring. 
I've been sprung. Oh yeah. We are to the northwest of Pyramid Lake right now. Very cool. How we doing today folks? This is your old pals Nemo and Zoner and we're finishing up our trip of the Pyramid Lake and we are here entrance to Dry Valley off-highway vehicle area so uh, we had a wonderful day it was great getting out man yes it was yeah. incredible it's just gorgeous out here but yeah what a day we covered uh, Pyramid Lake all the legends the mysteries the water babies and where else are you gonna find water babies but at Pyramid Lake but yeah we're gonna head on out of here we're gonna find something cold to drink but we hope you enjoyed this trip out here pyramid lake's incredible if you ever get a chance get out there yep get out there named by john fremont famous explorer but yeah great day great day you got any uh any input or any ados i got no ados neither do i so on that note i'm all i'm gonna say this has been your old pals Demo and Zana saying, no, Don't let your meat loaf. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye bye. Bye.